Ambitious Science Teaching Group from the University of Washington has partnered with schools and school districts and teachers for the past two decades. And the idea is that we're working on critical and cultural approaches to science instruction K-12. It's a network of hundreds of schools and school districts as well as university partnerships across the nation. And we're all working towards a common goal that really centers ideas around equity and justice and community. Importantly, we're asking questions about who gets to do science, under what conditions, what counts as science. So we're asking these critical questions so that we can adapt and honestly think about a culture shift within science education. This Ambitious Science Teaching Project is a really great opportunity for us in Seattle Public Schools to partner with the University of Washington to support teachers in thinking deeply about their science teaching practice and to collaborate with each other to work toward more justice-centered and equitable teaching. This Ambitious Science Teaching group has been really powerful for supporting teachers to think about how do I deepen my practice. So we are really thrilled to have an NGSS-aligned curriculum. That's a great base for teachers to think about supporting science instruction in all three dimensions of learning. And we also need opportunities for teachers to go deeper. And we've embedded some of the ambitious science teaching practices already in our curriculum, but we want space for teachers to think about why I might use these practices, when I might use them, and how I'm supporting all of my students. Teaching ambitious science teaching, we focus on phenomena, and then based on that, the kids learn different problems that happen in the world and share their own ideas and experiences. Nowadays, I feel like science is more collaborative with the students, whereas in the past, we followed a procedure of doing an experiment, but now it's more focused, and it's also really nice that this curriculum goes across all grades. So the fact that in kindergarten, they're learning all of these ways to ask questions, to collaborate, to record, all of these concepts go through in the next grades, so it builds on each other. We have in this project a couple roles for teachers. One of the roles is that they can be a facilitator of a professional learning community, a small group of teachers that works together about once a month to work on their teaching. And these facilitators are teachers that signed up to be in that role and they get some extra training with us to think about how they can support their colleagues in reflecting on and sharing their practice with each other. The professional learning communities have been really valuable for teachers. They've been able to come together and share what's going on in their classroom, so bring really specific examples of practice and then connect them to these larger ideas in ambitious science teaching and think about what does this look like in my classroom and then they get to learn from other teachers too. An important piece of our work is sharing what we've learned on the Ambitious Science Teaching website. And there you'll find videos from classrooms and you'll see insights and stories from what we've learned in our partnerships at the district level and how to organize for learning for teachers as well as resources for teacher educators. All of the best ideas that we get are from our partnerships with teachers and classrooms. It's bringing in more student voices. Instead of saying this is the way things are, it allows students to think of a phenomena. So for example, right now we're doing sunlight and weather, and then the, the model question okay. is, what makes the playground feel warm and what makes the playground feel cool? And on the back, what does this remind you of? So it allows students to kind of share their experiences. It doesn't matter if their answer is right or not. And as teachers learning this curriculum, we're learning that all answers are welcome. All answers have some validity to it. And then as we learn the science unit, the kids change their ideas, they add on to it, and then they come up with a new answer. My hope is that children can be excited and engaged in science learning and can learn to question ways that science has been taught and who it's been taught for and start to make it their own. We're trying to address some major issues with climate change and environmental hazards that need to be cleaned up. The children are currently faced with trying to solve these problems and we need to equip them to help solve these problems and not continue to be a part of the problem ourselves. That also means that we need to support teachers in learning how to shift instruction so that we can create classroom communities that can address these challenging problems. <laughs>